Hello, it's editing Hannah coming to you live from the computer desk. I am sitting here editing Vlogmas Day 2, which you're about to see in a minute, but I realized that I said in the beginning of the video, it's November 3rd. So I just wanted to put a disclaimer on this and let you know that I did film this a month ago and I haven't gotten around to editing it until today, but it's still relevant and it's still, I still do everything in this video. So I just felt like I should put a disclaimer and let you know that I did film it a month ago, but I'm putting it up today on December 2nd. Anyways, um, I'm really trying here with Vlogmas. I'm really, really gonna try to upload a video every single day, at least for 25 days. I don't know if I'll do it after Christmas. I think I will do it after Christmas, but um, I'm at least committing to 25 days. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited to see what that brings and excited to see how that goes. But yesterday I almost fucked up on Vlogmas day one because my video Vlogmas day one went up literally like four minutes before midnight, but it still counts, okay? It still counted as December 1st because it still went up on December 1st. Uh, the reason it took so long is is because I have crappy ass Wi-Fi and it takes like hours to upload a video to YouTube, which is fine, I'm patient, but it was uploading, it was like halfway done and then my mom used my computer and she accidentally closed the browser window and so I had to restart my upload in the middle of the day and then my dumbass comes in to change a power strip um, at my desk and I wasn't even thinking and I freaking unplugged my computer while it was uploading, re-uploading my video. So then I had to restart the upload a third time and it by that time, it didn't end up uploading until like 11.54 p.m. on December 1st. So it still went up on December 1st, so it still counts, but I almost fucked up. Anyways, I'm here to bring you Vlogmas day two. So here we go. Hey guys, it is 10 o'clock and I am about to get ready for bed. But before that, I need to take off all this makeup. So I figured I would show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. If you're interested in seeing my nighttime skincare routine, then stay tuned. <laughs> So my makeup looks a little ratchet, that's because I've been wearing it all day. I voted today, by the way. It's November 3rd. I voted at like 7.30 at night here in California because the polls closed at 8. I didn't want to not vote, so I went at the very last minute because I had time, and I voted. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. And before I remove my makeup, I always put my hair up. So I'm gonna put my hair up and then show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. And this is how I always put up my hair. I always put it in a bun, a little fun bun with a scrunchie. And now I can take off my makeup. So first things first, remove my lashes. Oh, it always feels so good to take those off. I reuse my lashes, so what I do is I just set these to the side so that I can use them again because lashes are expensive. And then I remove my makeup. And I do like a double cleanse. So first I take this cleansing balm. This is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm from this company called Versed. Uh, this has eucalyptus oil and vitamin E. I'm almost done because I use this almost every night and I love this stuff. I love cleansing balms. I used to use face wipes like the Neutrogena makeup wipes, but I do not use those anymore because I just don't really like them. I prefer cleansing balm. So I just take about this much on my hand. It's kind of a lot, but um, I have a lot of makeup on. And then I rub it between my fingers and I just start rubbing that onto my dry skin. You want to use a cleansing balm on dry skin and this is basically just going to like melt all my makeup off. It's basically like an oil. I'm going to just work this all around. I take it down my neck because I apply foundation to my neck and I'm just using my fingers to break up all my makeup, my lipstick, take it up here on my forehead, make sure I break up all this foundation up here, my eyebrows, and then usually by the time I get to my eyebrows, I need a little bit more for my eye makeup, so I'll take just a little bit more, like a pea-sized amount this time for my eyes, and I take this on my eyes. I'm gonna start looking a little crazy right now, you guys, but never mind that. And I really work this, especially on my lashes, because I have all that lash glue in my lashes and mascara. And I really want to remove everything. I'm going to go back into my brows, because sometimes my brows are a little crusty, because I have, like, brow gel holding them in place. And then I look like a psychopath. And now it's time to rinse this off. So I'm going to rinse this off, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just rinsed off all that cleansing balm. 
And for the most part, my skin is pretty clean, but we're not stopping there. And before I move on to the next step, I want to tell you this little scrunchy tip, if you don't already know. I learned this from TikTok, and for the longest time, I've wondered how to solve this problem, so I was so glad when I came across this tip on TikTok. So I don't know if you've ever washed your face in the sink, but when you do that, unless you're like, I don't know, maybe the correct height or something, or maybe you know how to hold your arms, every single time I wash my face in the sink, water drips down my arms and like then down my elbow and then it's like dripping on the floor or dripping all over me. Anyways, for the longest time I was wondering how to solve that problem because I just couldn't think of a way. I don't know why I couldn't think of a way. But I came across this girl on TikTok who mentioned that she also had that problem. You guys, I've learned so many things from TikTok. But I came across this girl who said she had the same problem when she was washing her face and then she said that she put scrunchies on her wrists. And I obviously don't put them like right here because they would get super wet like from whatever. So I put them a little bit lower like this and then they catch all the water that drips and nothing drips on the floor, nothing drips on me, nothing drips on the counter. It's amazing. Life hack. So there you go. Um, okay, so after I use the cleansing balm, now I'm going to use my face wash and the face wash that I've been using lately at nighttime is this special cleansing gel from Dermalogica. This is great. I love it. They sent this to me, um, but it's still amazing. I'll link all these products down below in the description box, by the way, if you want to get them for yourself, but um, I'm like almost done with this and it's so good. So I like to use this for my face wash and I like to use this little face facial face. I'm tired. I'm so tired if you can't tell. <laughs> I can never talk in my videos anyways, I always get tongue tied, but this is my facial brush and this is from Eco Tools. I bought this at Target. I want to say it's like $6.99. It's like so inexpensive. I used to use those like electric ones or the battery powered ones that like spin and stuff, but honestly, those are so expensive and this does the same exact thing. Like just don't be lazy, just like move it around. Like it's really not that hard to use and it's so much more affordable than the ones that like spin, you know? So anyways, I use this and this to wash my face and usually I'll just put this what I do usually is put it's clear by the way put the soap the cleanser the gel cleanser and I work it around with my fingers first just all over my face it does get a little a little bit sudsy not too sudsy but it does so just work this around my face this is why I mean that I like double cleanse. Sometimes if I feel like I need a little bit more, I'll take a little bit more onto my brush like this and then I'll start exfoliating with my little brush. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my skin. So even though it looks pretty damn clear, um, I do have very large pores in this all over my nose and in this whole region also on my chin a little bit and like in the middle of my forehead anyways I have large ass pores and if I don't exfoliate my skin every single day oh, this is gonna sound so gross but they like I get like blackheads in my pores and then they create like the blackheads like are like little bumps you know and if I don't exfoliate every day it's like super bumpy feeling in my t-zone area especially and then especially all over my nose I don't know. So in order to have like soft, smooth skin and to like try and combat those blackheads that I get and my large pores, I have to exfoliate every day. Sometimes I'll skip a day, like especially if I'm not really wearing makeup, then maybe I won't exfoliate that day. But for the most part, my skin is not sensitive and I can handle a daily exfoliation. So I always exfoliate at night with this little brush. And this is pretty soft, by the way. It might not look soft, but it is pretty soft and it just gives me a really nice, smooth feeling skin. So this is what I like to use. And once I'm done exfoliating with this little brush, then I obviously go wash the soap off. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and then I'll be right back with the next step. Okay, so wash off the facial wash, the soap, the cleanser. <laughs> I'm feeling super clean, and now it's time for the next step. And this is the most important step, in my opinion. This is like the secret sauce, this is the magic potion. This is why my skin literally looks like perfect. 
Like, do you see a pimple? I don't think so. Mm -mm. I swear by this. Okay, this is different gel. You've probably heard of this or seen it. I'm pretty sure I paid like, I want to say like $12 for this at Target. Um, I obviously use it because it's almost gone. Okay, so I want to talk about this a little bit. I'm pretty sure this used to be prescription only, but now you can buy it at the drugstore. Bought this at Target. You don't have to have a prescription. It's super inexpensive. Um, I read about this before using it and everything I read was good I mean I'm sure there's people that have had bad experiences but everything I read was good I let a, I read a lot of reviews and I read a lot of doctors or dermatologists like giving their opinion on people's skincare routines and when someone would mention like their 12 step skincare routine and this was one of the steps every single dermatologist was like well you could probably skip all those steps and just use a different gel the reason your skin looks so good is probably because you're using the different gel blah 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 so anyways uh, I decided to try it for myself and I'm pretty sure on the box it says that you have to use it for 28 days in order to see a difference so I was like okay I'm just gonna stick it out I'm gonna use it you know I'm not gonna make any judgment until I use it for 28 days so I did that and I'm pretty sure I because I've been using it for a while so I don't exactly remember but I'm pretty sure I started seeing a difference before the 28 days but I just want to let you know that if you decide to use this don't give up on it until you've used it for 28 days like you cannot make up your mind about this product until you use it as directed like give it 28 days and if your skin doesn't look better or it's giving you problems then okay maybe it's not gonna work for you but I swear to god this is a secret sauce this is why my skin looks so amazing every single day um also I think I'm not 100% sure and I'm too tired to read the back of this. I don't think it says it on the back, but I'm pretty sure on the box or the instructions, it said something about your skin could get worse before it gets better when you start using this. So that's just something to keep in mind. And I remember thinking to myself that I don't care if my skin gets worse. I'm going to give it 28 days before I make up my mind. And anyways, I'm so glad that I gave this a shot because my skin has just been literally amazing. Like the texture has changed. I don't break out like at all. I literally don't break out at all. I didn't really suffer with acne before, but I did get hormonal breakouts. Like I would always get like big whiteheads down here in my chin area, especially like before my period. Literally like clockwork, I would get like two or three giant whiteheads down here um, like a week before I started my period. Every single month, like clockwork. Since using this, I don't get that anymore, okay? And then I would also get like the occasional whitehead um, just randomly before I started to use this I swear to you I don't get I don't get anything anymore I literally don't get any anything I swear that this has made my pores shrink in size I still have large pores which from what I've read and from what I understand is just part of your genetics and if you have large pores sometimes there's no like getting around that but I swear to you it's like made them smaller and I don't have as many blackheads anymore either I still get blackheads because my pores are so large but I really just you guys just trust me okay I just went on a long ass rant about this because that's how much I care about it this is not sponsored different gel does not work with me they don't send me anything in PR I bought this at Target it's not even that expensive I'm literally ranting about this because I fucking love it okay so just trust me I swear this I swear I could probably wash my face with water and use this and my skin would still look good like I really attribute my skin looking as good to to this product okay so anyways I take about this much of the different gel on my fingers and I apply it to my chin and then to my t-zone area mainly I put the most product in my t-zone area and on my chin like basically where I have like the most problems and then I'll take just a little bit more and apply that to my forehead and then to the rest of my face I love this stuff so much it's not moisturizing it's just like a little serum whatever it does dry so I kind of let that like dry soak in do its thing for a minute before I go on to the next step which is moisturizer and this one is the active moist from Dermalogica they sent this to me I like it I'm using it because 
I try to use up my products. I don't know if I would buy this again. It's not as moisturizing as I prefer, okay? So if you like like a lightweight moisturizer, you would like this. It's not bad. I'm obviously using it because I like it. But I personally prefer like a heavy duty, thick ass, greasy moisturizer. Um, but I'm just using this because it's what I've been using lately and it works and it's still good. I just, it's a little too thin for me. So I apply my moisturizer after I apply the different gel. And I want to mention that I also have oily skin, but being moisturized is so important. And if you try and dry out your oily skin by like not using moisturizer or by using like something that's drying, it's going to cause your skin to overproduce oil because your skin's going to try and overcompensate for like being dried out. So then you're going to make your skin like even more oily. So I found that just moisturizing my skin isn't as oily as it it doesn't produce as much oil as it used to when I used to like dry out my skin, you know? And then my skin just always looks better when it's hydrated and moisturized. So to me, moisturizing is so important. Okay, so after moisturizer, I apply a face oil. This one is from Good Molecules. This is the Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. And this is really good. I'm like, it's like to here. It's really good. So I literally use two drops because any more than that is too much. And then I take it between my fingers and I just press this all over my skin. I really just like tap it in with my fingers like this. I don't know. I read that you should press the oil into your skin, not rub it. I don't know if that's really going to make a difference, but I just do it anyways. And then sometimes I will like rub it a little bit, but I do that. And then the last step in my routine, which I don't do this every night, but I do it when I'm feeling more dry and especially when um, like we're in like fall now, so it's starting to get cooler and drier. So I do this when I want like extra protection and like I want my skin to stay nice and moisturized. Um, this is kind of controversial. This is like a technique called slugging, I think. Google it because I'm way too tired to explain it, but basically you put like petroleum jelly on your face, which is an FDA approved product. It's the whole theory behind it. Google it. It's called slugging. There's people who love it and say it's great, and then there's people who say, oh my god, that's so bad for your skin. It's going to cause you to break out, blah, blah, blah. Just Google it, okay? It's called slugging. I do this sometimes. I use the CeraVe healing ointment. This protects and soothes dry, cracked, and chafed skin. It's a skin protectant with ceramides. It's non-greasy feel. This is going to basically like lock in all the moisturizer on my face. I take about this much and I warm it up between my fingers. This is kind of a lot, but it's okay. And then I just apply it like I would the moisturizer and it is going to make your skin feel greasy and stuff, but it's basically going to like seal in all the moisturizer and oil that I just put on my skin and it really does just like protect your skin. Now there's some people who say this is bad for your skin and it's going to clog your pores and it's going to cause you to break out. Do I look like I have breakouts? No, I don't. And I don't do this every night, but I do do it most nights and it hasn't caused me to break out. So I do know that maybe not all skin types could handle this, but I'm going to tell you right now that my skin can definitely handle it. It doesn't make me break out. It doesn't clog my pores and it does make my skin feel super plump and hydrated and it just gives me that nice glow in the morning when I wake up. It does kind of come off on my pillow at night because I'm a side sleeper, but um, it definitely doesn't make me break out. So this step is kind of unnecessary if you don't want to do it, okay? I really, like, hands down think that my skin looks amazing because of the different gel because I really started seeing a difference when I introduced this into my skincare routine because exfoliating and using this face wash and a moisturizer I've been doing for a long time and it didn't stop my breakouts. I literally stopped having any pimples when I started using this. So I'm, like, 100% sure that my skin looks amazing because of this, okay? So my point is is that if you don't want to do this step, because you're afraid that it's going to clog your pores or make you break out, then you don't have to do this step. But <laughs> I'm like stuttering. But if you want to try this and you want a little bit more hydration and you want your skin to look glowy and plump and you're not afraid to give this a shot, then definitely look up and research slugging and then you can decide if you want to try this too. And the last step, and by the way, that thing behind me that you're seeing is my light. <laughs> 
Okay, the last step in my skincare routine is like my favorite step. This is the Mario Badesco Skincare Lip Balm. This is for all skin types. This one is not the minty one, but they do have a minty one. This is my favorite, my absolute favorite lip balm. I like suffer from dry, like peely. You know when your lips get like peely because they're so dry? Okay, literally for the life of me, could not figure out how to get rid of like chap lips. And I had chap lips all the freaking time. Time. I tried drinking water I tried all these different lip balms lip glosses everything nothing worked until I started using this this is my favorite 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 lip balm ever as you can see my lips are like can you see they don't get peely and chapped anymore like since using this I use this every single night it's the last step in my skincare routine and it's just my favorite lip balm ever and I've tried those like Laneige 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 Lang whatever you know what I'm talking about that like all these influencers like rant and rave about this like lip mask thing. I did not like that at all. This is not that expensive. I think it's like five bucks or something. I'm not 100% sure. I'll link it below, but I'm pretty sure it's like kind of inexpensive and it's just so good. So if you're looking for a new lip balm, try that one. And that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I'm so freaking tired. I'm gonna take my hair down and I don't sleep with my hair um, like just free flowing because I have all this product on my face and I don't want it to get in my hair so usually I just put it in this like little old lady ponytail like that I don't look that cute but at least my skin's glowing <laughs> so that's it for my nighttime skincare routine I hope you guys enjoyed it if you end up trying any of these products let me know especially this one you guys I swear to god try this please and let me know if you like it or if you already use this let me know what you think because I am like 100% sure that this is a shit. So anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!